Howdy folks, we're gonna make some El Presidentes today. Uh, I got a new rum, Banks 5, gonna tell you all about it. We're gonna compare it to the old standby, Probitas, also known as Veritas. Let's do it. Okay, so today we've got these two rums we're gonna try out, the Banks 5 and the Probitas. But before we get to that, I also have this new uh, Bianco Vermouth that I'm not super familiar with that we're going to also just see what we think today. It's called Bordiga, it comes from Torino, and I don't know a whole lot about it, but let's just give it a taste. It's got that slightly sour, slightly whiny um, uh, aroma that dry vermouths and blanc vermouths tend to have. Um, a little bit fruity, I guess. Like, not super aromatic on the nose. Maybe a little bit sweeter than some of the others. Mm. Um, a little bit of um, like an uh, herbal note to it. Kind of a short finish. Um, not super complex, but sort of, sort of a down-the-middle um, acceptable Bianco Vermouth, I would say. Like, there's nothing about this that's really, like, knocking my socks off or, or making it stand out. I feel like it's just... Sort of, sort of the standard we've come to expect, which isn't to say that it's bad or anything. It's just, it's just, it's it's just fine. It's fine. When I think back, I think of the La Pivone, and I feel like that had a little bit more character, a little bit more interesting. Um, but this is pretty good. We're gonna start with Probitas. Hopefully, you've tried Probitas because it's really, really good. It's a blend of Foursquare and Hamden. Comes in at 47% alcohol. Cost me $35, and it's really been sort sort of a sort of awesome. It's it's one of those great bottles because instead of having to blend two rums to make your Mai Tai or make your uh, your El Presidente, uh, you can just grab this one bottle, and it's. It's really delicious. It's got actually got a slight color to it, like a slight uh, hay kind of color. A very, you know, light, lightly colored. It's got an obvious funk on the nose. That Hamden, that Hamden funk, you, you can sort of detect it wherever you go. It's got a very dry start to the palate and, and a sort of long lingering mm. uh, funkiness to it. I feel like this is a sort of rum where hmm. you want to, just like a basic mixing rum, but you want to step it up a notch. You don't want to just have the cheapest, um, you know, Real McCoy three-year or um, Plantation three-star, but you want to, like, make it a little bit nicer. Probitas is the way to go. On the other hand, we have Banks 5. Now, Banks 5 started 10-ish years ago. It was a brand started by a few different people, but including Jim Meehan, who was in charge of Please Don't Tell, the famous uh, speakeasy bar in New York City. He was in charge of sort of bringing out the brand and introducing it to the bar world, etc. Um, and it's pretty interesting. 43% alcohol. Also cost me $35. Same exact price as Probitas. It's a blend of rums from five different places. Uh, Jamaica, Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, and Indonesia. Now they call it Banks Five Island, and those aren't all islands. Guyana's not an island, but we'll, 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 let them, we'll let them have that one. Now we know Jamaica makes some funky rums, and there's uh, Jamaican rum in there, but there's also Indonesian rum, which means they're adding into this mix Batavia Eric, which is rum made in Indonesia that also includes rice in the mash bill, so it's a blend of sugarcane and rice, and it is like a Super fun, one of these super funky sorts of rum adjacent products, and it's delicious. Anyway, let's give this a quick taste. Crystal clear, probably filtered, but who knows? Yeah, it's got a, it's got a nice fruity, mm. funky smell. Yeah, kind of kind of delightful on the nose. A little bit a little bit grassy, a little bit funky, a little bit uh, briny, a little weird. Yeah, let's try it. It's a little less hot on the front palate, a little hotter on the back palate. A little less mm. funky overall, but like a slightly different mm. kind of funkiness. A little bit grassy, um, and a little bit, it's not, it doesn't taste sweet, but it's got a slightly sweeter feel, a little bit vanilla. It's really sort of a pretty complex blend. I really enjoy it. Anyway, let's go ahead and mix up some El Presidentes. We'll compare these two rums, see what we think. Let's go. <laughs>
All right, we did it. Uh, we made our El Presidentes. Um, let's just try them out. I'm gonna start with Probitas because that's the, the one that's most familiar to me. Beautiful color. I mean, delicious. The rum gives it a, a really nice backbone. It's a little sweet, mm. uh, a little fruity. Um, that grenadine comes through mm. a little bit. Not sure if I'm getting a ton of action from the vermouth. Maybe a slight, a slight bitterness? That's weird. Let's, let me try it again. I'm getting a certain sort of dry, almost bitterness that might be from the vermouth. Hmm. A bit odd. Let's, let's go on to the next one. This is the Banks 5 El Presidente. Lovely, getting a little bit of that, that funky Batavia Eric mm. kind of funky note from the Banks. Ooh, mm. uh, the, again, the nice fruitiness, the orange liqueur comes through, that little grenadine hint at the end. Hmm. Am I getting that weird uh, bitter flavor? Let me just taste again. I'm still getting like a slight bitterness that might be from the vermouth. Um, but both of these are very excellent El Presidente options. The Banks, I think, might be just just like a slightly slightly bit sweeter, and the the funkiness that it has is coming through a little bit more in this drink. Huh. So I don't know. I'm, I might give a slight advantage to the Banks, although Probitas, obviously, nothing wrong with that. Really, very delicious. So um, yeah, kind of a toss up, I guess. Anyway, conclusions. I think both of these rums work pretty well. I'm not 100% sold on this vermouth. It's pretty good, but it, it isn't, it, it lent a little bit of a bitter note that I'm not sure that I was appreciating in this drink. Um, these are both fairly affordable rums, but just like one notch higher than some of your, your basic white mixing rums. If you want to sort of kick up, kick up the quality of your home bar a little bit, I would try investing in one of these two rums. Anyway, have you tried any of these? How do you like them? Let me know down in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.